Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Steve Monday, Chief Forecaster for Rowan County Weather. It's about 1030 in the morning on Tuesday, May 4th, Star Wars Day. So may the 4th be with you if you're a Star Wars fan like I am. Just wanted to give you a quick update on the severe weather potential as we head through the afternoon and evening today. And you can see there are um, some pretty strong to severe thunderstorms making their way through the, I'd say, the uh, Mid-South area of the country. Moving through uh, Tennessee, locations like Knoxville, um, just east of Nashville, Lewisburg, areas like that. If you head up into, into Kentucky, Somerset, uh, Kentucky, seeing some weather as well. Starting to see it just to the west of Bristol and down into Alabama around Huntersville or uh, Huntsville, excuse me, Alabama. And you can see lots of lightning in this. There are some severe warnings, as I said in there. Here's a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for Alabama, and uh, we'll continue to see those warnings and, um, and watches get issued. There are some severe thunderstorm watches to our west. Uh, there's some flood watches going on, tornado watches as well, and you can see just quite a bit of lightning involved with these, even outside of these storms. So let's go ahead and get in a little closer to home now, and you can see right now rain, the closest rain to us is uh, just west of Asheville and some decent little thunderstorms coming through the uh, southwest mountains of North Carolina and they will continue to track east ahead of the cold front that's ushering these storms in. Let's go ahead and turn off the uh, satellite data real quick. Let's turn off the lightning data as well so it's not showing up and head over to the what the Storms Prediction Center is showing. Now as of right now we have a um, a, uh, excuse me, a, a marginal risk for severe weather and the dark green around the area. And then off to our west, this yellow is a slight risk for severe weather. As of this morning, the entire state of North Carolina was in the marginal risk. The green, no, there was no part of North Carolina that was in the yellow. But as we've gone through the day, the Storms Prediction Center has shifted that east. Uh, and you can see there are just a handful of counties uh, along the southwest corner of North Carolina near Murphy and all that that uh, are under uh, the slight risk for severe weather. And I anticipate that if, if the atmosphere continues to become unstable as we go through the day, that yellow will continue to shift east toward the county. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that. Uh, as far as advisories that are out right now, we'll let those load up real quickly and show you what's going on near us. So the, uh, the green you see here, that's a flash flood watch because there's a lot of rain coming with this line of showers and storms as well. So uh, the ground's really dry in a lot of locations. It's almost like concrete out there. And when that water comes down too quickly, it just ponds up. It can't soak into the ground fast enough. So localized flooding is a concern for some areas. And the flash flood watch right now, only in effect for locations in Georgia, Nothing in South Carolina or North Carolina yet, but what we do have in North Carolina is this severe thunderstorm watch, which is going on for Cherokee, Clay, Graham, Macon, and Swain counties, and that's in effect until 1 p.m. Eastern. We'll likely see this watch continue to shift to the east as the front continues to move closer to us. The main impacts we're looking for with these storms today would be the potential for damaging winds, hail, and uh, as you can imagine, frequent lightning. We do have a low risk for, for tornadoes out there as well, so we'll continue to keep an eye on that um, as, as we go through the day. And these storms right now, they don't have a history of producing any tornadoes, but they've certainly brought down the lightning and they've brought down the, uh, the flooding potential as well because quite a bit of rain's coming through with them. So again, we'll keep an eye on it. I'll provide more updates as we go through the day. It's likely I may give you an afternoon video update as well as these storms get closer and we continue to keep an eye on what's occurring with them. For now, enjoy the remainder of your Tuesday morning. Uh, it's coming up on about 1040 a.m. If you're watching this, just to get an idea, if you happen to watch it later, uh, you'll get an idea of how things may have changed uh, in the meantime. But as always, thank you for following Rowan County weather and enjoy the rest of your Tuesday morning, everybody.